Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to go back to somewhere I've been relatively recently and that is back to the UK and take a look at one of the newer British Army single meal rations. Now this is just a 12 hour ration, not their usual 24 hour ORP. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, I now have here on the table this British Army single meal. This particular pack was packed on 06 2021, and this is the menu number one. Now, like the full 24 hour ORPs, it now comes in a smaller version of the brown bag with the handle. And on the back, there's some more information about uh, it's an eight hour ration c containing. 1500 calories and are meant to be eaten over an eight hour period so it is an actual single meal ration there is also a warning about the use of the flameless ration heater but apart from that it's just a plain simple bag no easy open tear strip just like the ORP 24 hours so we need to bring in a friend just to slit across the back so let's just slit across the top there and we shall see what does this British Army 8 hour menu 1 actually contain. So, straight off the bat, we have a nice little accessory pack. So, we shall have a look at that first. A large Ziploc bag to keep all your spares or your trash in. And in there we have your TP or tissues, whichever the need first arises. There is two of the large anti-back wipes, the standard MRE spork, MRE, sorry, ORP I meant to say that, 3-in-1 T, we shall get there in a moment, but giving me trouble already, there is a 3-in-1 instant coffee, so 3-in-1 is the coffee, sugar and milk all in combined. And we have some strong gum. Moving the bag to one side. We also have in the food content some cheese oat biscuits. There is the British Army Flameless Ration Eater, the FRH. We have two cherry flavoured isotonic drinks powders. There is the old oatmeal block. We have some cola bottles. Let's see if we can squeeze those on the end there. Then we have the main meal itself, and this particular one is sweet and sour chicken with rice. Just get that on there. And last but not least, we have a protein bar, chocolate flavour. So, this is the contents of the British Army single meal menu number one. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray the contents of this British Army menu one single meal. Um, I've had the sweet and sour chicken with rice boiling for 10 minutes in a pan. And I'm going to start where I normally like to start. That's with the drinks. We have three drinks to make in this one. I think I'm going to start off first of all with the cold drink. This particular one is a cherry, cherry isotonic drinks powder. There was two of these in the pack. I'm obviously only going to use one. So it calls unusually for 400 mils of water. Usually these are 500 mils. This is a 375 roundabout glass. So I'm going to use it all. It might be a little bit strong, but should be okay. And We'll add water to it just a very simple plain fine powder 
and we'll just bring that to the top of the glass using the handle of the huge spork bring that right to the top as like I said slightly under what it's asking for so we get a good old mix should do let's get a little wipe there and then I think we're going to move on to the three in one instant coffee three in one obviously meaning contains all the three ingredients milk sugar and coffee and again a very simple powder there and bringing in the hot water this time again Use about three quarters of a mug, give it the best chance of flavour and taste. Moving along, we also have the same for the tea. We have a three in one instant tea. Just very simplistic packaging, sort of, if anyone wants to have a look, they can have a look at those ingredients there. That looks very much like how the coffee did. Very fine, simple powder. And again, we'll top that off. Obviously, there is no provision if you don't have milk or you don't have sugar, you're stuck with it. But the army are looking to get you lots of energy, so they're not too worried about you not having the sugar. Okay, so there's the three drinks. Um, an old favourite of the British Army rations, the oatmeal block, so we'll open that next. Just bring in a little friend. These have been these have been in the rations since I was serving back in the late 80s, early 90s, the good old oatmeal block. I think the consistency slightly changed over the years, but they're still appearing. Moving along this side, we have some cheese oat biscuits. It's usually five, but this one looks like it's been a little bit battle damaged. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's an extra one this time. It used to be five, and now six. Moving on again, we have the cola bottles nice to get some sweets or candy in a ration something to just chew on while you're walking along a little bit of extra energy and again seen now quite a few times in british rations i should just empty that's about a third of a pack there's still quite a lot more left there's more than enough for sampling now I've got the protein bar, chocolate flavour. Looks very similar to the old cookies and cream, but it's a little bit darker. The cookies and cream white bits was a little bit whiter. So it's just the chocolate. We also have some strong mint sugar-free gum. There's two little briquettes. Again, for demonstration, I should only be needing one, so I'll just put one there. We have the anti back wipe for when needed. And now it's time to open the mains of sweet and sour chicken with rice. So as I say, this has been boiling for 10 minutes. So a nice, nice soupy consistency. So not too thick, not too thin. Make sure get as much of that out as we can get. So as you can see, it has the rice there mixed in with the chicken. So I think I'll start where I normally like to start. Start off with the three-in-one tea. So it's a medium-looking color 
in milk. Mmm, that's good. For an instant tea, that's one of the best out there. Very difficult to distinguish that's not made with a tea bag. Milky, creamy, sweet, very much just like an English breakfast tea. Milky and sweet tea, very good, very enjoyable. Certainly would not, or you'd have difficulty knowing that wasn't made with a tea bag. So now look at the three in one coffee. Mm -hmm. Little bit lesser quality. That's not the best quality coffee out there. But again, it's a very acceptable, milky, sweet, instant coffee. Middle of the road, not ultra top notch coffee, but then again, not the cheaper store brand. It's a sort of middle road. Again, most people will have no problem drinking that. A decent coffee. And last of the drinks, this cherry. There is a little film of sugar floating on the top, but this is an isotonic energy drink. Mm -hmm. Not overly sweet. A little bit of a tartness there. And the cherry is that artificial cherry you'd probably associate with sweets and candies that you've eaten before. But it is a nice, refreshing, tasty, plenty of flavour, cold drink. So the drinks, all very good, very good quality. Um, it's difficult to know where to start now. I think I'm going to go straight to the mains and have a look at this sweet and sour chicken with rice. Um, there is chunks of chicken. I can see little bits of pepper, bell pepper, rice obviously. Um, that looks like there's a little bit of water chestnut. I don't know if we can see that there. That's definitely water chestnut. There's a little water chestnut going on in there. So, let's try the sauce with a little piece of the water chestnut there. Mm. Mm. That's a little piece of pineapple. And it was so distinct you can taste the pineapple. So, it's, it is sweet. The sour is very difficult to distinguish. I wouldn't say there's a lot of sourness there. Certainly sweet. Not Chinese takeaway or Chinese takeout style sweet and sour. Certainly sweet. There is pineapple adding a little bit of sourness. Let's try a little bit of this chicken now. Mm. Nicely cooked. Still has texture. Um, you do need teeth to chew it but not in a heavy way, just a gentle chewing and the meat falls to pieces. I must try this water chestnut. I thought the last piece was a water chestnut, but it was a piece of pineapple, so there's definitely a water chestnut. Mm. Still has crunch. Just cooked. Very good. Very tasty. I know it's a sweet and sour. Personally, I think a little bit of hot sauce would go nice in here. Maybe a little bit more on the sour, because it's certainly on the sweet. But overall, it's a good, tasty filling. Enjoyable. Mains. Slightly on the sweet side, as I keep saying. But it is a sweet and sour, just slightly lacking on the sour, but still an enjoyable, tasty meal. Let's have a look at some of these cheese oat biscuits. They're broken, so I'll try this broken bit. Dry. Not a lot of flavour. It's a base cracker. Not a lot of cheese flavour going on in there. It is a base cracker. It's crying out for something to be put on it, but there's oats, slightly sweet, but not overly. It is a base cracker, obviously designed to go with something, so let's try a little bit with the sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. A 
goes okay. I think a plain cracker would work better, but it's not untoward. Could be eaten on its own, not a problem. Would work great with some cheese spread. A good spread of cheese spread on there would be the thing. We haven't got any though, so it has to be eaten with the mains. Hmm. Decent quality. But personally, I think the wrong cracker to serve with this. Nothing wrong with the cracker, as I said, would go great with some cheese on it, some cheese spread, jalapeno cheese spread, and that would be a dream. But, that said, still a good, enjoyable cracker, but personally I think it's the wrong choice of cracker for the sweet and sour, which I'm going to have another taste of, but I am enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say it's slightly too sweet to accompany the cheese cracker. A plain cracker would be better, but both are still very good individually. Let's have a taste of the tea. Good quality tea. Moving on round. Um, seeing as I'm on the tea, I think I'm going to have a look at the oat biscuit. So, again, just oats, sugar, slightly dry. It's obviously to make it shelf stable. Very sweet. It's made with granular sugar. You can get the sugar crystals as you chew it. You can get the sugar crystals in your mouth. Um, I think it's crying out for something like to be dunked in the tea. Mm -hmm. It's a good dunking biscuit. I'll try in the coffee. Good, decent, sweet, energy packed being oats. A little bit of biscuit there. Let's have a taste of the coffee just to refresh my palate. Mm -hmm. Still good tasting coffee. Moving along. Let's take a look at some of these cola bottles. Little jelly candies in the shape like cola bottles. Mm. Nice flavour, nice and sweet. Got an artificial cola flavour. I'm sure most people have tasted that artificial cola candy flavour, sweet flavour. Not too chewy, not too hard. Nice, tasty, recognisable candy. Certainly enjoyable enough to eat while you're out in the field and take a look at this chocolate protein bar it has a gentle snap it folded rather than snapped and then came apart little bits of crispies with chocolate mm. quite firm a little bit chewy dark chocolate plenty of cocoa in there Again, I wouldn't say it's the highest quality chocolate, the highest quality cocoa, but it's certainly acceptable. Mm. Mm. Slightly chewy, crispy, dark chocolate, not overly sweet. Again, good quality, but probably not the best flavoured bar out there. Well, certainly enjoyable. I'm sure it's doing what it's meant to. Full of that protein, plant-based protein, obviously. And not too bad a package. I mean, that chocolate flavour. Let's have a little. Mouth freshener, again. It's nice to have a little bit of tartness that comes in from the cherry. Let's try one of the gums. Seen many times, these have been in the British Army rations now for a long time. Crispy shell. Lots of mint oils. 
This is a strong mint, which I think is a peppermint. They do come with spearmint and menthol. Menthol. Quite firm gum, strong mint oils, certainly a breath cleanser, a breath freshener after some spicy or interesting meal. Two briquettes with every single male, a great little mouth cleanser, mouth cleaner. Let's take that out. And now my hands are a little bit sticky so we'll have a look at again one of the anti-back wipes. These have been in the British Army rations as well for many, many, many years. I know the quality of these. Most people who's into rations would too. They are one of the biggest, strongest, almost like a cloth rather than a paper. Nice and wet. Certainly large enough to use as a face cloth as well. With There was two, so you could have washed your face and certainly washed your hands before you eat, which is always nice. Always nice to have a, a clean face as well as clean hands. And this one certainly does feel like it would take that muck, that grime off a troop's hands when needed. So very good, very strong. Wet nap, I think. I think it's the best out of every ration I've tried. I've never come across another ration where the wet naps are as good as these. So overall, Menu one, very enjoyable, very tasty, good quality items, nothing there to be disappointed with. It would have been nice, a slightly more, a little bit of sourness to the sweet and sour, but it's still a nice, tasty meal. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So, thank you, and goodbye.